Happy Halloween from Hella Clash here. Um, gonna do a couple quick defenses against the Graveguard spell. Um, since it's Halloween, then open a hopefully a magical chest produces a graveyard. So let's see, and a couple other chests. So let's uh, let's check out these replays quick. All right, this one was a friendly challenge within my clan against Swaglex. Shout out to him. Pretty sure he watches these videos. So. I think I knew he had the Graveyard spell because he uh, I was playing with him a different deck beforehand. I probably should have planted that <clears throat> Graveyard about one spell to the left, but always keeping enough Elixir and always keeping my minions on hand to keep the Graveyard spell in check was the key. That is basically the main card in my deck along with the Tombstone to... Uh, Kind of nullify the graveyard spell. You can go back and watch my video a couple days ago where I didn't. That was a bad fireball. I missed the uh, Inferno Dragon there. Um, but where I didn't have my minions ready because I wasn't expecting the, uh, the graveyard spell. And you can see how bad it got crushed. Same deck. Similar deck that I'm facing. So now that I know what a tower is attacking, I'm planting my uh, tombstone a little closer to that left tower and a little bit further back than sometimes normally I do, um, just so that that can be a distraction for the skeleton spells as well. So I'll get my hound down on top of that musketeer so my skeletons can take on that musketeer. And then there, got my minions ready to start taking on skeletons. And the tombstone also distracting. Um, do a little assist on the log there. You can see my pups are doing plenty of damage. And now I got a wave of minions coming in on his tower. He zaps them. Here comes the Inferno Drag. Again, Tombstone Plant. Let me get the Fireball in on the Dragon this time. Um, Get my Lava Hound down there, prepared with the two minion sets to take it on, minimize the amount of impact they have. Fireball pretty much takes his Musketeer almost down. Mega Minion one swipe. Chip damage with the log. Throw another tombstone down just to defend here. Sitting on the minions knowing the graveyard's coming. But it's going overtime. So now I just fireball for the win. So there's one way to defend against the graveyard spell. So we'll show one more replay uh, in ladder play. At a much higher level of cups. Last play here, playing against Tomato. They definitely seem to like to pair it with a Lava Hound. That's most every deck I've seen has been paired with a Lava Hound. And this one is the Miner, so this is the Grave Digger. So taking on the Grave Digger, which absolutely demolished me in my last video. So at this point, I don't know that he has the Graveyard spell. So, bad news is I played my minions early on. So, if I start to see a lot more graveyard spells, I probably need to save that. Um, he probably should have played that a lot earlier, but he doesn't know that I don't have any other cards to counter it. So, a little bit of trouble here. Didn't know he had the graveyard spell, so he gets quite a bit of damage done before I can get my minions down. Can't get my Lava Hound down, so I choose to put the Mega Minion down to tank for my... Infernal Dragon, and it doesn't really get home. <clears throat> so I'm definitely behind. He got a good start. So you can see again, I plant my Tombstone a little closer to that tower, anticipating he's going to try to use the Grave... Tombstone 
or a graveyard spell. That was a bad log, not gonna lie. Missed the tombstone. <laughs> At this point, hound for hound, tombstone for tombstone, being patient with my minions. Gonna get my mega minion down, I think, on those minions. And now I'm gonna put my minions on top of his. You can see he definitely gets some damage down there and takes the tower. So not good. But I decided to double up on the hounds, figuring he uh, get a fireball in, take all that out. So now I got a hound on the tower. Things are looking good. Get my infernal dragon down. Get the minions in there. This is a risky play, but I need to push for a tower here. Um, Another fireball. It's getting to be low time in the match here, and I am uh, in trouble. So I plant my tombstone in there to fight his graveyard spell and cycle to my minions. It actually works pretty well for defending this. He's a little late on the arrows. Um, so fireball comes down. One second left. Push it into overtime. At this point, I actually have a decent lead on his other tower, though. But he's got a lead on the crown tower. So, there I misplaced, but luckily my minions get drug over there and the mega minion comes down. Um, so things are not looking great here, but he doesn't quite get the tower and I'm able to get a bit of a push going the other way here. So I double down on the Lava Hounds here. Minions come in to stop him. And you can see my minions crush his tower just in time. So there's two ways, <laughs> two matches where I took down uh, the graveyard spell. So, all right, let's pop up with a couple chests here. See if we can get a lucky here. Free chest. We're looking for a graveyard spell on Halloween. Probably not likely to get it in those, but we'll give her a shot. We'll do the silver chest. Boom, boom, boom. Giant skeleton. Yuck. All right, I do got a first place tourney chest to open here. 25 cards. Chunk of gold. Ice spirits. Spear goblins. Minion horde. Bomber tower. Bummer. Let me jump in my tournament quick before I forget. All right. Drum roll, please. Super magic, or just a regular magical chest on Halloween. Let's see what happens here. Chunk of gold. One spear goblin. All right, is it going to happen? I need to use the Valkyries. That's not bad. Dark Prince. That's nice. Not what I was hoping for, but a decent little chest for a free battle chest. So, hey, thanks for watching. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, see you later. Sub, like, comment. Thanks for watching.